Good morning, Mr. Lombardi. How are you, sir? I am doing good. Good morning to both of you. We have given chapter and verse and detail <laughs> upon detail of uh, Akib Talib's rap sheet. Is it worth it? Is his talent worth the headache of potential here? Well, you know, look, I, I think every trade you make is risk-reward, and, and you have to evaluate that. Uh, I, clearly, the, clearly, with Tlaib, you've got some issues that have to be handled off the field, and his rap sheet is long, and, and it becomes effective. But I think you have to ask the question, does it affect him on the field? And, and we're, I'm not endorsing anything he's done off the field by no means, but I think you have to ask the fundamental question, does he like football? Is football important to him? Mm -hmm. And if you can get to that answer correctly, and I'm not sure that anybody has, I think there's times in Tampa that he did. Clearly, Monty Kiffin, when he was there, thought that that could be handled, and he played really well for Monty. Uh, obviously, Raheem Morris thought he could handle it, but he couldn't. And I think Greg Ciano really felt like this was a good move for him in terms of he thought he had the kid turned around. I think the decision was made that they weren't going to sign him for next season, and they might as well liquidate now and get some draft choices and some assets as opposed to waiting for a compensatory pick. You so think, I'm sorry. I, I, I think the risk, the risk is there, but I think the reward far outweighs that. When he's playing well, what does he bring? What skill set does he bring that the Patriots need? When he walks to New when he finally shows up in Foxborough, he will be by far, and I say this by far, the best defensive back on the Patriots team. Mm -hmm. Now, he also has great size. He plays the style of football that Belichick wants. He's very physical at the line of scrimmage. He can, he can jam people. He's tough. He can tackle. Uh, he can play big receivers. So let's just project this out. We've got to play Denver again. We've got to play Houston maybe twice. You know, you've got to play them once in the regular season. You've got to play Houston. You've got to play Denver. You may have to play Baltimore again. You can match this player up on the best receiver for any of those teams and feel like he can take them out of the game and win that matchup. And so I think that certainly is why his talent level is, is needed in New England. Is a fourth round pick about right to you, uh, Mike? Or do you, uh, was there much of a demand for him, or was it just a deal between Shiano and Belichick, two old friends? Well, I, I think you know, obviously, the relationship helped, and, and for Tampa, it works out perfectly that that Bill and Greg have a relationship, but also that they're AFC NFC teams, so you don't have to compete against them. But I, I think this, I think if. You had to give them something that was going to make them make the move and not wait for the compensatory pick, because that's ultimately what you're competing against was the compensatory pick. And you, we all know that that fourth-round pick, we say a fourth-round pick. Now, if the Chiefs would have given up a fourth-round pick, that would probably be right. in the top five of the fourth round. Right. The Patriots give up a fourth-round pick. I have a feeling that's going to be in the bottom five of the, four, of the fourth round. So essentially you're giving up, based on the compensatory picks that get added into the next year's draft in the bottom of the third, you're giving up a, a high fifth-round pick. I think that's a fair deal.